Bentornati! Welcome back to the Lisle Sonion channel. We are in Valheim because today I want to show you how to collapse an entire copper ore node. I've found this nice little node in here. It is not too deep into the dark forest. We are actually right at the border between the dark forest and the meadows. So I hope this will mean we'll get less interruptions from monsters and great dwarves and stuff like that. I've done already a little bit of prep work as you can see here. I've dug with my pick all around the copper node until I found the borders, so I know where the external perimeter is and I started digging a little bit. Of course, you will need also to either create ramps or some form of wooden staircases so that you can reach the bottom and you don't, well, uh, dig yourself in. And then it's a lot of digging. You basically start by going all around as deep as possible and then at some point the copper node, you must think that it's shaped a little bit like an upside down mountain. So it's more or less flat at the top and then goes down into the earth to a point. However, as you are about to see, some strange things start to happen when you dig too deep and too greedily. So after a while I started noticing how things get really weird. The cliffs start getting all jagged and blocky, and when you dig in them from the side, the ground underneath your feet goes up. But more important than that is the fact that you cannot actually dig as deep as you would like. As you can see here, I'm digging straight down with my pick, but the ground doesn't budge anymore. So after a while, I decided that since I couldn't mine, that I would just dig horizontally into the ore deposit until it was completely disconnected from the ground. At this point, since I was already in the mood of testing stuff, I wondered if the hole would have the same limitations, and surprise surprise, it turns out the hole can lower the ground more than the pickaxe. Provided you start from a lower portion, I know, it's weird. It seems to me that instead of being flat, the bedrock layer follows the general shape of the original hillside, and for some reason, the hoe has the power to flatten that. The magic isn't in the hoe, however, but in the earth itself, because if you strike again the same ground with a pickaxe, it goes back where it wants to be. If after all this digging you find yourself gazing at the great world tree while interrogating yourself about what are you doing with your life, it means you're on the right path, because at this point the copper deposit is connected to the ground by a mere sliver of a rock. So here we are, eagerly chipping away at the last tendril of copper ore and… You stupid piece of copper, stupid rock, fall down, why would you go down? Go. Maybe if I take away another piece from down here? Oh wait! Oh. <laughs> That's amazing! That's fantastic! Look at this! Look at all this copper! I mean... I'm never gonna do this ever again in my life, but the final effect is pretty amazing, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you found this video enjoyable and maybe had a giggle. 
with me at the end. If you're still wondering, no, I don't recommend doing this, but I do recommend digging deep when you find a copper ore deposit, because they are usually larger than you think. A huge shout out to Duncan Stein that wrote and produced the music for this video. If you have a moment, please follow the link in the description and give the man a sub, you won't regret it. So, I am, as always, the Lissalesonian. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Alla prossima!